So quite a while ago, I did a video on NFC and it got a lot of attention. I'm really happy for it because I do use NFC quite a bit even now. And I recently finished setting up majority of my network. If you want to see the full network video, that'll likely be either next week's video or the week after. So get subscribed if you want to see that. But part of my network setup was actually setting up a really quick and easy way for my guests to log into my guest network without having to type in a complex password or anything like that. And the way that I'm doing that is with a combination of NFC and a QR code. So today I wanted to quickly show you how I have that set up, how you could easily get that set up as well, and some really interesting creative options that you can do to make this look quite a bit nicer as well. Now let's first talk about the QR code side of things. It's very, very easy to do this part. Uh, you don't need anything special. You don't need anything, uh, you don't need to buy anything. It's very, very easy to do. And if you're on Android, it is super easy to do because most versions of Android have this built in directly to the OS. On iOS, I think you have to go through the routines um, to be able to do this one. So I will leave a link in the description for one of the guides on how to do that. I do not have an iPhone to show you. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that one on Android after we actually have it set up. Um, but this is the QR code for a guest network that I created. And it was generated using a website called QiFi or KeyFi or I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's super simple. I'm going to show you how to do that. You can print it out. You can save the, the, the image so you can just keep it on your phone and just show your, your uh, friends their, your phone. There's a lot of options here. And again, we'll get into the creative ways that you could do this at the end of the video. So this is the website. It's super simple to use. You're gonna go ahead and type in the SSID that you have, and then the password. Most of them are gonna be WPA, WPA2 or WPA3. Most are not gonna be WEP, and obviously if you have none, that's not a suggested idea anyways. So we're gonna just do a demo one here. So we're gonna call this one demo, and the password is just gonna be I am a demo. And then if I generate that, it goes ahead and creates a code. I can then export that as a picture. I can print it. Um, I can do a whole bunch of things. You can save it as an HTML file. You can do a whole bunch of really great stuff with this. And it's super simple. You can even right click and save the image directly that way as well. Now, as I mentioned, I have one that I already printed out. So I'm gonna show you how this works with the camera. So we have my camera here. And if I go ahead and go down to this QR code, it is gonna pull up the Wi-Fi that I had there, and then it's gonna automatically connect to that Wi-Fi for me using the SSID and the password that I had set in the QR code. It's super simple. And then as I mentioned on Android, it's really easy to then generate a QR code for this Wi-Fi by hitting the settings icon here, and then going into QR code, and then I gotta punch in my pin, And then once that's done, I have a QR code. I can save that as an image. I can uh, share it as a text, a WhatsApp message, any kind of stuff like that it makes it really, really easy for me to share this QR code. And then I can also print and save it and do whatever. But for a little while before I got one of the items that I'm gonna show you in a little bit later, I just saved this image and then just showed it to anybody who wanted to connect to my guest Wi-Fi. Now it being the guest Wi-Fi is a really important part of this. You should not put your primary Wi-Fi on a QR code. You wanna have a guest network that is isolated. It does not have access to your full local area network. It is isolated. It's the best way to give internet to guests without having them be able to have access to everything in your network, unless it's someone that you trust and then you can give them the main one. But your guest one that's through a QR code should really only be a guest specific network that's kind of isolated. You really don't wanna do this on your primary one because that's a little bit of a security concern since it's so easy to connect to the Wi-Fi if somebody gets an image of your QR code in the background of a picture. You know, I'm making YouTube videos, if it's in the background of one of my YouTube videos, something like that, makes it really easy. And then if anybody does figure out where I live or what have you, it just makes it a lot easier for someone to get into your network. It's just something to consider. And then also, as I mentioned, we're gonna be setting it up on an NFC uh, sticker that I have here. I have a bunch of these. 
again, in that previous video, I talked about a whole different ways that you can use, use NFC stickers, but sharing your Wi-Fi is a really easy one. Unfortunately on iOS, it doesn't seem to work very well. You have to create a whole routine and all this kind of stuff to get it working. It's really not worth the effort. iOS, it's better to just use a QR code, but having the option to just tap your phone on something to connect to it is also nice for the Android folks. They don't have to open up their phone. They don't even have to unlock their phone, really. They could just tap their phone to it and then accept to connect to the Wi-Fi. So that's nice. I'm gonna show you quickly how I do that. So we're gonna be using NFC tools on Android for this. There's a bunch of other NFC apps that you can use. Again, in that other video, I go through them all in depth, but I'm just gonna quickly show you this. So we're gonna go ahead and go to write. We're gonna go add a record. And then we're gonna go ahead and find Wi-Fi network. We're gonna do authentication. And I have WAP2 personal. I don't have encryption on there. SSID is hot signals in your area. And then the password is, you can also search for an SSID if you want. And then we're gonna go ahead and press okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and write, and it's gonna say approach an NFC sticker. So I'm gonna get my phone on there, hopefully lined up nice. My new phone is a little bit harder to, there we go. And the write is complete. So now, if I wanted to, I can go ahead and tap my phone back on that NFC sticker. And it's gonna ask if I wanna to connect to that network. Super easy, really easy to do. And now I can show you the ways that I'm personally using this right now. So as I mentioned, there are a lot of really creative ways to do this. You can print your QR code on a piece of paper and just keep that somewhere. You can, you know, uh, tape it to something. You can, if you really wanted to, you could paint this on like a wall. You can give it to an artist and they can create some kind of art out of it. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do. And what I did was I actually went to Etsy and there are a lot of people that do um, wood engraving on Etsy. And I had someone engrave a little wood panel for me with the QR code. It mentions that you can scan and tap because I have the NFC sticker on the back there. So people can go ahead when they come in my front door, this is just sitting right by the front door. They can either open up their camera and scan the QR code and connect to my guest Wi-Fi, or they can tap their phone on here as well. It's really nice and really handy. Um, it's a lot easier than trying to say a really crazy encrypted password to someone. It's a lot easier than having people try to type something out and you're like, oh, no, 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 it was a capital or whatever, you know. Giving people passwords is a really big pain in the butt. So this is a really nice way to do it. And then I also printed out a few copies of the version that you get off of the generator that we were using earlier. And then I have that in the guest bedroom in case I have guests over and you know they connected with their Wi-Fi when they were downstairs with using this, but then they were in their room and they wanted to use their tablet and they're like, oh man, I've totally forgot to get the Wi-Fi password. They can just scan it in the guest bedroom just for convenience sake. But again, there are a lot of really creative ways to share QR codes. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I was just showing people the image on my phone and they were just scanning it off of there. There's a lot of really easy ways to do this, but it really makes your guests having to connect to your network a lot easier, makes your life a lot easier. And, you know, as a tech guy, it kind of just makes it a little bit more fun. Um, you know, people know me as the tech person, so they're not surprised when I do have something like this. And I think it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description to the seller and the actual product page where I did buy that plaque. He did a fantastic job. I'm really happy with it. As you can tell, mine is a little bit different than the one that he has here. And it's because I personally asked for it. I'm very grateful that he decided to accept my request and make those changes. I think it looks really, really good. Um, you know, this is a really inexpensive thing. It's nice. It kind of sits in the front. There's a lot of other options on Etsy but I will be linking this one because this is what I got and I'm really happy with it. With all that said, I would really like to know if you guys found this interesting, if it's something that you are considering doing with maybe creating a guest network. If you want me to create a guide about guest networks, I can do a quick video on that. It's gonna be really dependent on routers and all that kind of hardware that you're using. I am using a full Unify network and I will be going over some of this information in the network video that I will be doing. So again, get subscribed if you wanna check that out. But if this does 
interests you, I can easily do a video talking about guest networks and stuff like that. But what I really wanna know is, is anybody gonna be setting up a QR code or a, an NFC sticker for their guest Wi-Fi now? If you are, please leave a comment down in the description below. I'd be really interested to see if you're gonna go a creative route with something cool, like uh, doing one of these awesome little wood engraved pieces. Uh, again, I will leave the link to the store down in the description who created this one for me. He actually created two for me. They were great, they were inexpensive, did a very good job, I'm really happy with it. He was great to deal with and he even helped me change it up a little bit to a way that I liked it. And to wrap things up, I really do hope you found this video helpful and if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, if you have any questions, comments or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below and I'll try to get them all as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thought Simon Step Back, and thank you for watching the end of the video. If you want to see anything relating to the new house, including that network video that I've been talking about once it comes out, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.